Welcome back to the Jury Box. It's your girl, Empress Jim. Y'all know I dropped the jewels tours. What it do, what it is, how it been, what it's going on, right? Welcome to your March Energy Read 2022. Guys, give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, share, all that other sweet jazz, right? Yeah, okay. Um, however, Taurus falls in your chart. Um, but Taurus, what I'm already, I'm picking up already, um, I got pride. So some of you guys could be dealing with a Leo. Some of you guys could be afraid of coming out. You know, if you are part of the LGBTQ community, you could be afraid to come out and let people know. Okay. <sighs> Believe in yourself. Okay. Believe that you have the strength to do whatever, overcome whatever this obstacle is. Okay. Um, I do feel that there is a lot of turmoil going on in your life. Mercury retrograde that's coming up in May in the end of your season is going to be very important um i feel like a lot of you guys are foreseeing this already see this in your third eye or you've been getting some downloads or dreams or warning signs that things are about to change some of you guys may even have to move sell a home okay and i mean it's time for a new beginning that's just what it is okay but don't let pride jack you up or stop you from doing what it is that you need to do accomplish and achieve so guys we're going to get into it Quick message, general message, okay? Take what's for you, leave right behind. Don't forget that. See that tower? Evolution, okay? Change. It's got to go down. It got to happen. Oh, that was you right there. Is it still there? Messenger. Oh, is that you? Is that the five? Yeah, that's the five. That's Taurus. That's our fent messenger, right? Oh, my goodness. Taurus, I've been sitting here doing your whole message, your whole reading, and realized that it was paused. So, <laughs> I'm just going to do the cards, talk about the cards that have already been laid out, okay? So, I said we had the Five of Swords, it's survival here, right? And then I talked about the suspension, I think, more or less, this Pisces energy that you have underneath here. The sun is still behind you, okay? Sun is Leo energy, pride, pride and ego, right? Discuss that. Talk about you surviving, all these changes happening, and maybe you don't want to change. I mentioned about how, you know, you're Taurus, you're fixed energy, right? When I think of Taurus, I think of the bull. I think of stubborn energy. You don't, you don't want to change. You don't, you're not too fond of the changes, okay? You Especially when it comes to your stability in your home. Like, you ain't really trying to do that with jobs or nothing like that. I discussed this whole thing about downgrading your house, especially if you own a home and maybe you don't need all the space. And you just worry, what what will everybody think, you know, if I go from my big-ass five-bedroom mansion to, like, some little three-bedroom ranch? Who gives a fuck what they think? When You're doing what's best for you. You know what's best for you. The money that, yo, the equity that your game back from downgrading, I was talking about reinvesting, um, growing it, and that re. I said somebody named could be re, like re, 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 Renee, Rihanna, something like that, okay? But um, your first card out, the energy you were in was this seven energy here, this crown chakra energy, using your intuition okay being guided all month by what it is that you know you need to do despite what anybody else wants to say the people around you are in this eight of swords energy okay gemini energy all that chit chat getting into your ear trying to keep you fucked up mentally in that five of swords energy again i like the fact that that card says survival because whatever this is you're going to get over it you have the wisdom you know what to say you do but it's whether or not you're going to use your intuition and say what needs to be said and not allow your pride to get in the way. Like I said, if you had to come out, you know, and tell people, hey, love is love. I fuck with the same sex or, you know, I go both ways, whatever. That's what it is. And if people don't want to accept you, those aren't people who need to be in your life. Right. But I also talked about how these people wanted to keep you stuck want to keep you trapped and I feel like with them three swords in between you're doing a lot of healing a lot of these people around you are still they're trapped in this fear because you're elevating you're healing with that three of swords energy you're moving on and there's nothing they can do to stop you in the past you had that tower moment we talked about this disruption when I was pulling your car in the beginning right I said 16 breaking down to a seven two sevens out here on the board so I go check out the Pisces reading. Again, going back to the reference of this suspension, this Pisces energy that starts underneath your deck here. But they had 777 in their message. So you might want to check that out. You might be dealing with that. You might have that in your chart, right? Um, I think, I don't know if it picked up, but I talked about pregnancy. Somebody could be finding out that they're pregnant, got pregnant in Aquarius season. It's like, damn, how I'm supposed to do this? How I'm going to do this? You can do this. Don't let people make you feel like you can't. You got this. You got the power. You got the tools. You know what the fuck to do, okay? Like I said, you done already figured out. You done already had to shake up. You already got this news. You already figured out who's for you, who's not for you, okay? You already know what you got to do. You got to make this move, shit like that, okay? The tower is there. Aries Scorpio energy. And now for the rest of March, moving towards the end of it, you're going towards using your intuition. High Priestess energy here. Pisces energy, okay? 
and that's a two Aquarius season really takes place there right and all that good shit come in full circle the aunt that's life um, but you are, you're now understanding what door you have to walk through. You're going to realize that listening to your higher self is your best self. And you're going to continue to do that. That's going to be the energy that you're going to continue to use. I feel like just for the rest of you, feel me? Not just for March, but like for the rest of you, you're going to realize through everybody playing on you mentally, you're spending all this time to yourself that, you know, nobody knows you better than you. You get what I'm saying? Better than God. And you're going to start receiving those higher messages here. Underneath the deck, you have a new beginning. Okay, with endings come new beginnings. Yeah, shit falls down, but you could build that shit right the fuck back up. Okay, uh, with the dozen roses, these are the people around you. Never mind. Okay, so Divine Holy Spirit, we're gonna get your message here, your advice with the lessons, Oracle. So, well, yeah, the rose from concrete. Okay, so what do we have here? Ooh, we have happiness, and it kind of fell out in reverse. I typically don't do these cards in reverse, so happiness. This is your message, okay? This is your advice to just be happy. Get out of the state of being unhappy, being dissatisfied. Be thankful for life, okay? Be thankful for the abilities to do what you do, okay? For having that knowledge, for getting that strength, for going through this strife, okay? Allowing these tower moments to take place because they're guiding you to where you need to be. You were unhappy, okay? You weren't really satisfied. So you're getting on that path right now because it's a part of your growth, right? Right. So I'm aware that being happy means that I am on the right path and you were unhappy. So that's why this tower had to come and shake some shit up because you were on the wrong path. You weren't happy. Simple. So let's get your affirmation for the month. And now you're on to new beginnings and you're going to continue to use your intuition. Listen to your inner self, not allow other people to put in your mind what it is you need to do. And then, um, or even still, like I'm picking up for some of you guys, you do got some people who are trying to give you good advice. But again, like I said, don't let that pride and that ego get in the way. All, all advice ain't good advice, but I feel like some people are actually trying to give you good advice and you don't want to hear it. And these are people who are also probably can be worried about your well-being, okay? Because they see what you're going through and they just want you to listen to yourself and believe in yourself as well, Taurus, okay? But you got today, I will see the possibilities. Today, anything is possible. My heart is open to any and all possibilities. That gut feeling, I just had a gut feeling. Using that intuition to find that happiness, right? Right. So today I am compassionate. I feel like you need to be compassionate with yourself, right? Today I will reach out and help another person feel better about themselves. Like I said, people who are coming in to help you. And I feel like you have people, could be a Gemini, could be a Scorpio, could be an Aries, could be a Pisces, who's worried about you, even an Aquarius, who's worried about you. And I heard a parent and... You might be like, damn, you're always trying to run my life. But I feel like the advice that they're trying to give you is advice that's going to help you, that's going to make you happy at the end of the day. So use your intuition. Use your best judgment. You know what to do. Um, I hope this message has helped. Personals are still closed. Until the next time we speak. Peace out.